This is a really exciting spot to be in, feeling the pinch of time. We are now officially done with Project Teacup. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This vlog is going to be a really fun, exciting one because in this vlog we are finally going to finish Project Teacup. I don't know how many days this vlog is going to take to film. Today is currently, it is Thursday, August the 3rd and I am going to start work today on chapter 25 of Project Teacup. If you're new here, hello, my name is Christy. I am a writer and content creator and I'm currently working on an adult fantasy novel called Project Teacup. That's not the name of the book, but it's the title that we're going for, for secrecy purposes. I'm gonna be working on chapter 25 today, and currently the book is sitting at 104,225 words. This goal the whole time has been to get the book down to as few words as possible while I edit this fourth draft of the story. I'm on chapter 25 of roughly 40 chapters. I got all my other work done this week. Obviously, I'm not a full-time writer. I have another job. I do content creation stuff. All of that stuff I got done and out of the way this week because I'm at the point where I'm ready to basically just know life this story and get it done because I can see the end and it is so close. I'm about to head to the library to get started on work for the day and I'm gonna take you guys with me. the other day and I was like really determined to get this novel done in the next week and a half or so and I worked it out. I was like, you know what? If I edit three chapters a day, I can get that done. I can meet that deadline. But even though I've been working really hard and I've put a lot of hours in, I'm kind of maxing out at about two chapters a day, which in actuality is me writing about 6,000, 7,000 words each day, but not like brain dumping those words. Those words are like very careful and they take a long time and I'm very particular about the language and I need to make sure that everything is correct which means that I worked for a very long time today and I only did chapter 25. It started off at 3,221 words. Chapter 25 is now 187 words more so the total number of words of the story right now is 104,412. Cut out a whole bunch from this chapter and I added in things that I thought were really important. I should probably stop for the day but because I really wanted to get through at least two chapters I'm probably going to do a little bit more work. It is just after 10 a.m. and I'm gonna get started on work. I almost finished chapter 26 last night. Three and a bit pages left to edit on chapter 26 and I'm hoping to finish that chapter 27 and chapter 28 today. Chapter 27 is about 3,000 words and chapter 28 is 2,300 words. So that those aren't that long compared to some of the other chapters, so that's okay. <laughs> It is currently Saturday evening, the 5th of August. I am about to get started on this chapter, which is kind of a challenging chapter for me to write. It's it's a chapter that intimidates me quite a bit, and it's a chapter that has made me cry every single time I have worked on it. So I'm, I'm interested to see whether I'm going to cry tonight working on it. I did some work on the story earlier today, then I took a decent break. I watched the Crows game, we went for a walk, we got dinner, did all that kind of stuff. I've had a bit of a break today but I'm now gonna sit down and work on this chapter. Just in case, you know, dream scenario, this book does come out and it gets published and you guys get to read it. I don't want you to know which chapter this is off the top of your head.
every time I'm like, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry working on this particular thing, and then I get to the I get to the part and then I just am just a big ball of tears. <laughs> I ended up taking yesterday off of writing. I was planning on working through. However, the work that I did on Saturday ended up taking so much out of me. It was a very like emotionally charged chapter as you guys would have been able to tell. Essentially, yesterday was spent doing all the admin stuff I'd been putting off and we'd been putting off. I did a workout, we did the washing, we cleaned the house, we got food shopping, did everything. Because I have this tendency when I'm in project mode to really just buckle in and focus entirely on that and then I just ignore ignore everything else in my life. Actually, I can put up my little fairy lights now. Oh, it's kind of cute in the background. It's kind of giving like 2015 YouTube. I'm hoping to do at least two chapters today. We'll see how we go. Voice of a Christie here to thank the wondrous sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is a website builder which allows people to create stunning websites. I've been working with Squarespace for over two years and I absolutely love their platform. It's affordable, it's so simple to use and learn, and there are so many templates to choose from. Squarespace uses Fluid Engine, which is a next generation website design system that makes it incredibly easy for users to unlock their creativity. You can customize every design detail with drag and drop technology for desktop or mobile. Fluid Engine is built in and ready to go on any new Squarespace site, making it so simple to design exactly the website you want and to connect with the people who are interested in the things that you make. If you're looking to make a website, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Christy and Jones to save 10% off your purchase of a website or domain. It is today, the 8th of August, the 8th of the 8th, I think technically I vlogged last night when it was already the 8th of August, but anyway, we're here back at the desk and I have, let's see, how many chapters left do I have? Seven, chapter 33 to 38, and then I have the epilogue. On top of that, I also have to add in the two chapters I'm gonna write as well. I have like 17,000 words left to edit. I'm, I'm getting through it. The story is currently sitting at 105,080 words. At this point, I think the word count's only gonna go up. It is Thursday evening and I spent basically the whole day writing at the library today. I am now up to chapter 35. The chapter I'm working on is one of the really big climax chapters. It's probably like the biggest and most important one. I've done a lot of work over the last few days. I've made a lot of headway, but it is Thursday and I am feeling the pinch of all of my deadlines and I'm, I'm kind of struggling this week because just trying to juggle all of my commitments with getting this story done, I'm finding it really tricky and like world's time is violin like this is just life right like for most of us who don't come from money we have to find time and find ways to earn a living and also do writing stuff I get a lot of messages from people saying I wish I could be a full-time writer like you and those messages always make me feel really uncomfortable because I don't want people to think that that's what I am that's not realistic it's like the vast majority of authors the vast 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 majority are not doing it full-time writing books does not make a lot of money and even even with this book that I am so desperately hopeful might end up being in the world. My goal is not for it to be a bestseller. My goal is not for it to have a massive advance. It's like money is not the is not the thing 
that's driving me. I just want to have a book on shelves. I just want to have a book that people can read and I have a job. I'm a content creator and that's what I do. But this week I'm, I'm finding it really tough because I'm trying very hard to focus on the story and get the story done. But I have a lot of work commitments because that's life and that's having a job. Because I struggle a little bit with context switching, I will get really deep into a task and I won't want to finish that task until it's complete. And I do the same thing with YouTube videos. If I start making a YouTube video, I find it really difficult to dip back and forth between that and writing and other creative stuff. So yesterday, basically, I worked from like nine o'clock in the morning up until 2 a.m essentially like 2 or 3 a.m. I went to I think I went to bed at like 3 30 and that's how long it took me to make the YouTube video that's going out on Sunday night. I chose to do that because I'm self-employed I can I have the power to, to pick my schedule but basically I did that so that I would have as much time for writing this week as I can. My plan was to finish this book on Friday and then do the last little tweaks on Monday and submit on like Tuesday. I don't know how we're gonna go I basically wanted to take the weekend to just have a break from it but I have a lot of social commitments on the weekend but right now I'm kind of feeling the pinch of time and my tiredness and like work burnout stuff and just like the regular life stuff of trying to write a story but also living in the real world and having to prioritize work and an income because that's the thing I need to pay my living. I think this is a really important conversation that people are starting to have more and more and I've spoken about the economics of writing so much in these writing vlogs but not because I want to like whinge and complain. I'm, I'm very lucky that I'm a content creator. I'm very very lucky to be self-employed. Basically to cut this discussion short because I've already had it a number of times on this channel, you go down the list of all of the authors who were published under the age of 30 and basically just look at how many of them were born wealthy, look at how many of them have never had to have a job, have never had to work, who went to like really really expensive private primary schools and it's basically the same with like every creative medium. If you're an artist, if you're a game designer, if you're wanting to make board games, all these areas, it's like it's really, really tough if you don't already have a lot of capital behind you to fund these things, to get help. If you don't know people, if you like grew up working class, if you grew up in frugal situations, um, which is my experience, the, the context in which I grew up, basically no one around me had finished high school, much less university, much less a postgrad. Me being on this journey to wanting to be a published author, me wanting to eventually one day being a, a full-time author, um, that's a really tall ask for someone who doesn't come from money, right? So it's like, it's, yeah. I'm just really tired today, so I'm rambling. Yeah, trying to find time for writing while trying to juggle all of the usual life stuff. And then I don't even know how parents do it. So there are people who are, you know, working full time and they have kids, people who are working full time and they're studying. That was me like three years ago. I was working full time in marketing and I was doing my postgrad on top of that because I couldn't, um, I couldn't just do a postgrad, which I would have loved to have done. I had to have a full-time job. Feeling a lot of feelings, feeling a little bit stressed. I'm on chapter 35. The book is currently sitting at 104,781 words. <laughs> Thank you. 
friend's house and did crafting stuff, spent a lot of time cuddling her dogs, came home, watched the end of the Crows game and then watched the Matildas get through to the semi-final, had dinner, it's now 10 p.m. and I'm gonna get started on the last three chapters of Project Teacup. I don't know if I'm gonna get all three chapters done tonight, but they're not very big chapters. I'm happy if the book ends up being like 107,000 words. I think that's okay. I just want to make sure that everything is as concise as it needs to be. I want to make sure that everything absolutely needs to be there. This is a really, really exciting spot to be in. I'm actually also going to brunch tomorrow morning with a friend, like kind of early tomorrow morning, obviously because it's like brunch that happens in the morning, in part because this is supposed to be a celebration for me finishing this book. And like my friend got a new job, so we're also celebrating that. We pushed it back a week and I was certain the book was gonna be done before we went to brunch, but now I'm gonna be like sitting here trying to get this done in part because I wanted to be done by the brunch thing we're doing tomorrow. I now need to go work on the denouement of the story, which is the like wrap up chapters, the three wrap up chapters that I need to do. And then I need to add in those two chapters, those two bits of the story. And then I need to go through and just double check the last couple of notes. <laughs> my book bound. I ended up doing it in A5 pages this time on A4 paper so that the book would be a lot less heavy and more manageable. I think it was draft two I printed out the whole thing and it was this like massive like stack of paper. I'm just deciding which tabs to use. <laughs> I'm gonna finish eating breakfast, finish getting ready and then we can go head out to a cafe. We're gonna go to Muscovado which is where I went to proofread a year in Tokyo. Um, apparently that is now my place to go when I'm proofreading things, is that cafe. Ready to go, let's, oh, let's not forget the pen and highlighter I bought yesterday. These two, let's go. It's currently Wednesday. I have not finished reading the book yet. I'm hoping to finish reading the book today. Fingers crossed we can get it done pretty soon. Anyway, I'm gonna head to the library. Let's go finish reading this book and I can get started on writing the synopsis.
we are now officially done with Project Teacup. I've now proofread my synopsis and query letter, all of my materials ready to go. The novel's done, I'm done. Everything to do with Project Teacup is finished, but now I'm just gonna wait a few days. It's probably wiser for me to just take a few days, let it rest for a little bit, and then cast my eye back over all of the querying material. I'm very impatient, so I really wanted to submit it all today, but I think it's wiser to just give it a few days and then finally submit. I have my list of agents I want to go to. At the very top of my list are the people who responded to me last time, who gave me really wonderful feedback for the first novel I submitted. I really appreciated the feedback they gave me, and so I'm definitely gonna go back to them first, and then I have a whole bunch of other people I'm gonna query. And yeah, that's basically it. Project Teacup is now officially done and I feel like it hasn't hit me yet. It's gonna take a little while. I've been on this project for three years. I had the idea back in 2020-ish. It, it, it started brewing when I was still working on that last novel. I've been working on it solidly, like around my, my other full-time work for a year and a half. It's been a really, really big project and the idea that it's finished is just, a little bit surreal, so I probably also need a few days to just sit with those feelings. The book is done, Project Teacup is finished. Um, thank you guys so incredibly much for following along this journey of this book. I, I've really enjoyed making these vlogs and you know, I'd never really considered vlogging the process of doing something like this before because A Year in Tokyo, for example, was a secret project. I didn't tell anyone what it was. I just vaguely referred to it as the illustration project for years. I really appreciated your support and kind comments and there's been such a lovely outpouring of kindness from all of you about Project Teacup and I really, really appreciate it. So I just wanted to say thank you to you guys for all of that. And also finally, a thank you to everyone over on Patreon for supporting my channel. Over on Patreon, I've posted so many behind the scenes snippets, little bits and pieces about Project Teacup. We have our book club, our Discord server. We have a bespoke tier where you can request videos. And I've been speaking about writing craft and world building and a bunch of different stuff. So if you wanna check out Patreon and support my channel, there is a link in the description down below. Take care everyone, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.